Hello and welcome to another video for Minus Touch Toys Games Collectibles. And today we are looking at the 2004 release by Figures Toy Company from their Space 1999 series of 8 inch action figures. Now these action figures were originally released in 1975 by uh, um, or um, Amigo. Uh, Amigo produced them, Palatoy were licensed to sell them. Um, and they were all based on the Jerry Anderson's television show. Now, the figures did fairly well for the short time they were out, but they were, were only out for a short time because of the television series uh, wasn't renewed for a third season. Um, so they dropped the line quite quickly. As a result, obviously, those original figures are very expensive. If you can find any on the cards, they are worth an absolute fortune. Um, even the loose figures will fetch two, three, four hundred pounds, depending on which figure they are. So, um, Figure Toy Company decided to re-release them based on those original 1975 figures. Um, and they were, ba I think they were basically more or less copies of the original ones. Okay, the one we have got in front of us today is of Paul Morrow, who was the second in command at Moonbase Alpha. And he was portrayed by the actor Prentice Hancock. Um, so this is the front of the card, and it says Space 1999 from the most spectacular space series ever. And it's got Paul Morrow, second in command, and he's in his Alpha space suit. Uh, and then it sees figures in the same uh, series. So you've got Paul Morrow, Alan Carter, Captain Xantor, and the Mysterious Alien. And it says eight-inch action figures, collect them all. And you've got the Figures Toy Company logo on the bottom left-hand corner. Okay, so that's the front of the card. Um, so before we zoom in and have a good look at the figure itself, let's turn the card around and see what we've got printed on the back. It's just bigger. Um, you've got, and they, these were distributed by Diamond Comic uh, because there is their sticker on the back of the card there. And it says eight inch action figures, collect them all. And these are classictvtoys.com, bringing back childhood memories. And then you've got all the warning and the copyright information at the bottom okay so that is the back of the card um so let's without further ado turn the card round and have a good look at the action figure itself okay so i've zoomed right in on the figure itself let's just see if i can get in a little bit closer for you there we go so that is the facial features of paul morrow um, like i say he was portrayed in the television series by the actor prentice hancock um, also appeared in a lot of science fiction television at the time, Doctor Who um, and um, Blake Seven. So he, he, he did uh, do the rounds a little bit. Um, but this was uh, a whole season he was um, in this particular show for. So that is the, his facial features. And there you can see he is in his um, alpha uniform with a red sleeve, uh, which I believe is the second in command colours. Um, he has his belt with his comlink. Um, and he's in his white trousers, um, and if you go down a bit, you can see him in his white shoes. Um, now, just like all these figures, he's eight inches tall, uh, multiple points of articulation, which is the arms, the shoulders, the elbows, the hands, the waist, the knees, the feet, and the head. So good articulation on all of these figures, um, and they can pretty much be posed in any position, any condition. So, how well do these figures do? Well, I don't believe they've done particularly well. Um, they were, um, I think the four waves, four or five waves were produced, um, each with um, four figures in, four or five figures in the sets. Um, I really don't think they've done ter terrifically well because they were only available for a short amount of time before the line was dropped. Um, and now, Maybe it's the quality. I did hear, I've, I've had a few comments with people saying that the the quality of these figures are not the greatest. They have a tendency to fall apart. Um, unlike the Mego ones, which um, which are still going strong these days, they they would only fall apart with severe mistreatment. But there we are. I don't know for sure because I've never opened one of these packets and had one out. I've always left them in the um, pack. So, um, but. These figures now are becoming quite hard to find, uh, especially in this mint sealed condition. But as usual, we at Minus Touch have managed to find a few. 
and they are currently available to purchase on the Midas Touch website, which you can get to quite simply by clicking the link below. It'll take you straight to the website. Where you'll be able to find this and many other Vintage Space 1999 items and many other vintage toys, games and collectibles under that. There's over 10,000 products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we are uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website. There will be something for everybody and I'm absolutely positive you don't want to miss this because we literally have thousands and thousands of new items which we are shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis. So if there is something in particular you're looking for, something old that you've never been able to find, something quirky you might want to buy for a friend, or just perhaps something from your childhood that you'd like to own again to help you recuperate those long lost childhood memories. Well, stay tuned, keep watching, because you never know the next item we upload could be that item you've been looking for. Okay, that is it for me on this particular item. I hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Thanks for watching and we will see you again soon.